Now it's time to install a wholesale plugin, which will add the wholesale specific features to the e-commerce website you've already set up. So you'll be able to add wholesale specific pricing to charge different prices for the same product to different user groups. You'll be able to control visibility so that some or all of your products will only be available to public or wholesale or both. And you'll also be able to choose things like whether or not to enable tax and coupon codes for wholesale users. So there's lots of extra functionality that you need in order to create a proper wholesale store. We're going to do it with the WooCommerce Wholesale Pro plugin, which is one of our plugins at barn2.co.uk. So get the plugin and then you'll receive an email like this, which will have a link for you to download the plugin. So find the download plugin link and copy your license key to the clipboard because we'll need that in a minute when we activate it. Once you've downloaded the plugin, go into your WordPress admin and go to plugins, add new and we need to upload the plugin. So choose file and then you can find the plugin that you downloaded and click open and install now. Once it's installed, you activate it and then you need to go to the settings page. There's a quick link up here because it's telling us we need to enter our license key. So I'm going to click on that and it takes me to WooCommerce settings wholesale. So I'm going to add my license key and activate it and that will allow me to start using the plugin. I'll also take you through the general settings and then we'll cover the other settings on the other pages within different lessons of this course. So when we've installed the plugin, it's automatically created a page called Wholesale Login and you can find that under the Pages section of the WordPress admin. That is what we will use for wholesale users to log into the site. And if you like, the wholesale login page can also display a registration form so that new wholesale users can create an account for themselves. So you can either have that ticked to display the registration form alongside the login form or not. You can also choose whether or not to hold new registrations for moderation by an administrator. So if you want to manually approve new wholesale users before they can access the wholesale area, then you would want to tick that box. The plugin has also created a wholesale store page for you, which again is available under the pages menu there. And when a new wholesale user logs into their site, they will automatically be redirected to the wholesale store page. But if you prefer, you could enter any other uh, address for them to be taken to instead when they log in. So let's say you want them to be taken to a particular category or something instead, or maybe a static page you've created where you've manually listed the wholesale products. You would enter that page as the redirect URL here. You can also choose whether or not to show or hide prices from logged out users. Um, this is a useful feature if you want to allow people to browse your product catalogue when they're not a wholesale user, but only allow wholesale users to buy. So um, that's quite common if you have a wholesale only kind of store where the general public can see your products, but your, only your distributors can actually sell them. So you might then want to tick hide prices until login so that only logged in wholesale users can see those prices. You can also choose whether or not to disable tax for your wholesale users. And um, you can also do that for specific roles, which we will do in a future lesson of this course. And you can disable coupons if you want to. So if you offer sales for Black Friday or whatever, then you might want only the coupon codes to be visible for your public shop users and not wholesale. So choose your settings and click Save Changes. 